What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kaki and today we are going to be talking about a product that has been absolutely blowing up my social media feed and it is by a company that is actually up until now unfamiliar to me called Thrive Cosmetics and I say cosmetics because it's kind of a pun I will put right here. It is basically makeup for a cause and we will get into all of that in a second. I do want to say that this video is not sponsored and before we jump in I want to go ahead and remind you guys there are a lot of you guys that are watching these videos that are not subscribed and I would love it if you would subscribe so that you can keep up with my content as it comes out. We are going to be doing tons of videos as the new year gets kicked off so make sure that you hit that button down below and subscribe and without further ado let's get into it. So like I said this product popped up on my Instagram feed with a lot of claims. They said that they had a patent pending technology that was not going to clump, it wasn't going to flake, it wasn't going to smear, and I have always been really picky about my mascaras. If you guys watched my channel way back in the day, I used to pretty much only use Clinique Lash Power Mascara, and that was for one reason and one reason only, and that was the ease of removal. I am not a fan of rubbing my eyes to get my makeup off and I found that just about any mascara, no matter how special the actual volumizing results are, I end up rubbing the daylights out of my eyes at the end of the day in order to get it off or it just sticks around in my eyelashes no matter how hard I try, if I use makeup remover, if I use an oil cleanser, anything, I cannot stand that sediment that it leaves in between your eyelashes and I have really sensitive eyes and so I would end up with styes and eye infections and things like that from it and so it was just a total no-go for me, basically most of the mascaras on the market. I have dabbled here and there in some drugstore mascaras kind of trying to try some new things and like, you know, test some stuff out for my channel, but I always end up coming back to what are called tubing mascaras. And a tubing mascara is one where you remove it with warm water. It won't come off with eye makeup remover and it won't typically kind of flake off of your eyes over the course of the day. You just hit it with warm water in the shower or when you're washing your face at night and it kind of slides off of your eyelashes in these funny little tubes. I first experienced that with the Lash Power Mascara but it does have its drawbacks. It doesn't really build a lot of volume. It's very inky. And so I started kind of the hunt for another tubing mascara and I Googled it and there are a lot of reviews out there for things that claim to be tubing mascaras, but they just end up giving me raccoon eyes when I get out of the shower just the same and I end up rubbing my eyes to death. And so I ended up trying, I was at Sephora and I was looking at all the displays and I went to the Clinique display and I saw that they had a version of the, what they call a long wear formula, that's their way of saying it's a tubing mascara. They had a, gosh, it was the weirdest little package. And it is called the Clinique Flutter to Full Mascara and it's got this strange twisting mechanism that's supposed to be able to control the amount of mascara that you put on the wand before you pull it out of the tube. It's a little strange. I did buy it. I did like it. It is a tubing mascara and it runs about $21. So that is my experience up until now where I've been on my mascara journey, if you will. So I came across this mascara and it is called the Instant Lash Extensions Mascara. And as you guys all know, when you are at the store or shopping online for a mascara, they just throw these words around. They just want you to buy it. Everything claims to basically give you this false lash effect. I don't think anybody is advertising, hey, we're gonna give you weak ass skinny lashes. They all want you to just buy their product. By the same token, there are like 800 mascaras on the market and it can just get kind of overwhelming. I mean, there'll be like one particular line and they've got like, you know, five different variations on it. I'm like, Maybelline, like, slow your roll. So when I did a little bit of research on the company, I saw that they donate to cancer patients and they try and help women in need uh, every time that you buy something. I figured, you know, what the heck, if I'm gonna try something for my channel, might as well be something that's doing good. It is a cruelty-free product as well. So I went and I bit the bullet. I just converted straight from my phone. This is a $24 mascara. This is a very expensive mascara as these things go. I'm not like a, you know, Chantikai user or anything like that. So I mean, when I was using the Lash Power Mascara, that's $18 at Sephora. The Flutter to Full is 21 and that's kind of pushing it. And then I saw this and I was like, God, $24, you know, I'll, I'll try it, like, let's see. And, and we'll just, you know, eat however much it is. Plus it was $5.99 shipping because I didn't meet 
a purchase threshold to kind of get free shipping. They do free shipping at $35. I'm not sure they were doing that at the time. I think this is a pretty new cosmetics line. This is the box that it came in. It says liquid lash extensions mascara length and volume. Orchid stem cell complex, vegan, cruelty free, paraben and sulfate free, toxin free, and it says that the defining comb brush separates lashes. Get the length, volume, and curl of lash extensions in a bottle developed with orchid stem cell complex to promote long term growth, plus fiber potion that combines buildable fibers and Korean plant extracts for instantly longer, thicker lashes that will have your friends asking if they're real. So that is a high bar. That's a lot of expectation for a mascara that I ordered from a random company on the internet. And so when it arrived, I was actually really pleased to find that before I even used it, this packaging is legit. This thing, it feels expensive. It's super heavy, especially the lid. So it's like, you feel like you have a lot of control because just like the lid has this really insane weight to it, like a YSL lipstick or something. The whole situation is just very like, I don't know, it's a really pretty bottle. And you do, you, you don't feel like you're getting cheated out of something for the money, at least as far as the packaging is concerned. How did the product wear? Well, I've been wearing it for about a month now. I've been wearing it for exactly a month now. And I think that it is, awesome. As far as what I expected versus what I got, it actually exceeded my expectations because I did not know upon purchase that this was going to be a tubing mascara. So it's not just exactly the formula that I usually prefer to wear. And for whatever reason, no one advertises that it's a tubing mascara. Like I think that that's such a specific preference in a mascara and no brand actually comes out and says it. But this formula, the reason that it doesn't clump and it doesn't flake is because once it dries down, it's only going to just slide off your lashes with hot water. And then you don't ever have to worry about all that crap getting in your eyelashes or kind of like all the weird, like gooey crap that sits inside of like your tear ducts, like it's so gross. And this doesn't do that. And it has that same simple ease of use that I came to expect from those Clinique mascaras. But when I first started using this, I was like, okay, well, you know, I just paid $3 more essentially for the Flutter to Full. It's exactly the same thing as the Clinique mascara that I had been using. And then I just went back to using the Clinique mascara and I was like, no, <laughs> they are not the same. It is a much lighter weight formula on the Clinique mascara. The Thrive Cosmetics mascara builds volume so much faster and so much more easily and they are not kidding with this brush. It is so precise. It doesn't have any like hairs to it. It just has these neat little spikes that actually for once aren't super duper sharp, which is great. I super appreciate that. We all love putting sharp things in our eyes, right? It's like always that horrible surprise when you buy a new mascara and the wand is so spiky, you feel like you're gonna jab your eye out in the morning. So this has been so easy to use. The actual spines are pretty short, so it doesn't always, like if I'm pretty careful, I don't get it like on my eye, you know, how it goes through your lashes and gets on your eyelid. And also because it is a tubing mascara, it does tend to flake off really easily from your skin if you let it dry down. So it doesn't do any of the weird kind of like smudgy stuff when you try and like, you know, brush it off your face if you get it someplace that you don't want it. So before we get into the drawbacks, I want to go ahead and go to the website and kind of give you guys a rundown on the brand itself. Once again, this is not sponsored. I just want you guys to be informed. So here it says that we are changing the beauty industry for good. Thrive Cosmetics was born out of a friendship. Makeup artist and product developer Carissa Bodnar lost her dear friend Christy to cancer at just 24 years old. Christy's compassionate and vivacious spirit inspired Carissa to establish Thrive Cosmetics, a beauty brand and philosophy that goes beyond skin deep by empowering women. Thrive Cosmetics is beauty with a purpose. For every product you purchase, we donate one to empower a woman thriving through cancer or domestic violence. We believe changing the world starts with a single ingredient and that's why we create vegan, 100% cruelty-free formulas containing proven ingredients without the use of parabens, sulfates, or toxins. All of our high-performance cosmetics are developed in a, at, at Thrive Lab in Seattle. We control every step of the product development process and a large part of it involves you. From selecting shades of our glossy lip mark to testing out our new formulations, your voice is heard in every step of our product creation process. So I've not actually gone and looked to see, you know, how to give feedback and things like that, but it does seem like a really cool, innovative approach to giving back. I am okay 
with paying a couple of extra bucks for a what I think to be a high quality product, especially knowing that they are also donating to women who are surviving cancer and who have suffered domestic violence because I think every woman deserves to feel beautiful. So the drawback, singular, was how long this took to ship to me. And it could have been because they are just kind of starting to launch new products and maybe there was a wait list or something like that. I ordered this with standard shipping on November 9th of 2017 and it did not arrive to me until December 2nd. It took almost a month to ship. That's almost as long as the life of a mascara. So if you're running out or something like that, that doesn't really work, that shipping cadence. And so I don't know if that's something that they are planning on improving or if this was just a one-off because there was a high demand for this mascara. I don't know, but that doesn't really work for me. I want to continue using this and I think I probably will try some more of their products, especially if you guys are interested in knowing more about it and seeing how the rest of their product line performs. I'm happy to test those out for you guys, but this one experience of getting this shipped to me was unreasonably slow. So all in all, the product itself is actually fantastic. The results are what they say that they are. I've loved using it. It hasn't been drying up or anything like that. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of life out of this tube. The packaging itself feels really luxury and awesome, but if I'm gonna order something else, I probably am going to order it well ahead just to make sure that it gets here in time and I can let you guys know any updates if you want if the shipping the next time is better or something like that. So guys if you appreciated this video then please do give it a thumbs up. I would super appreciate that. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to see any more from Thrive Cosmetics, the brand. They have a full line of makeup and I'd be happy to test it if you guys are interested. And if you guys have tried this line of cosmetics, let me know down below if you've kind of had the same experience with really slow shipping. I mean, it's coming from Seattle, not like Asia. I'm just really curious. And guys, again, if you haven't already and you want to go ahead and subscribe down below, hit that little button and join the fam here. We are going to be having so much fun in the new year. So please join along so you don't miss anything. And guys, I love you and I will talk to you as soon as possible. Bye.